M. Hamel thus continues to explain by saying that French language is the most beautiful in the world. It is also the clearest of all the languages and it is the responsibility of all to preserve their own languages. Then he opened with a grammar lesson and read very carefully so that the children listened with full attention and understood so easily. It seemed to the little boy as if his master wanted to give all his students whatever he knew before going away on the next day. After grammar, they had a lesson in writing. As M. Hamel distributed new copies to all his students written in a beautiful round handwriting, France, Alzac, France, France, Alzac, the name of their country and the name of their district. These words looked like little flags floating everywhere in the schoolroom. At that moment, not a single drop of sound could be heard from the children because all of them are so attentive and so serious into their learning. The only sound that could be heard was the scratching of the pants over the paper. Once, some insects like beetles flew into the classroom, but no children gave any attention to them. Not even the youngest one also. At that time, the pigeons on the roof were cooing very low, the sound of which made our little Franz to wonder by thinking if it would be possible that the imposition of German language would be applicable to restrict the natural sound of these bars also. Franz then observed his teacher sitting motionless looking at the every corner of the school room as if he wanted to fix every details of the room in his mind before going away permanently on the next day. Forty years he was living in the same place with his garden outside the schoolroom in front of his class. He planted many flowers and the walnut trees in the garden that grew taller and the hope vine climbing above the windows towards the roof. The little boy could realize the heartbroken situation of a man to go away from this place after staying for 40 years. At that moment, the sound of his sisters moving the trunks for packing could be heard from the room above the classroom. After the writing, children had a lesson in history and then the babies chanted the vowels in French. Everything in, in such a situation seemed so serious when the old people who were sitting at the back of the classroom also tried to spell the letters with the little babies and their voice trembled with cries filled with emotion and how everyone remembered their last lesson. Thus, as soon as the church clock struck twelve, the trumpets of the Prussian soldiers returning from the drill sounded under the school windows. M. Hamel stood up, looking very pale, and he was looking so tall because little Franz was observing his school teacher for the first time with full admiration. Then M. Hamel could not utter words as his voice was choking with emotion. He just turned to the blackboard, taking a piece of chalk, wrote as big as he could, Vive la France. Then he stopped and leaned his head against wall as if in respect to say long live France for his country and without a word he just waved his hand showing that the class was over for the day.